Hello there, welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking a look at this. I'm not playing at being a Dalek. This is a through night TH10 750 lumen flashlight. Now the various outputs on this are anything from 0.2 lumens, which sounds like absolutely nothing but believe me it is bright enough to navigate through very dark woods with, to 490 lumens in normal use on there and if we keep this pressed bang 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 so that's 490 lumens if we then double press well actually if we double press at any point try from there goes into turbo which is 750 lumens and if we double press again goes into SOS again that one is 750 lumens it's meant to be very very bright three dots three dashes Three dots, SOS, international signal for help me. I think what we'll do with this one, we'll get behind it so you're actually getting like a first person view of the various power settings and I'll step the distances further back as the power increases so you can see what sort of distance you can navigate to. Obviously the light chip in that camera isn't the best but hopefully you'll get some idea of the various power outputs. And I will put my finger over the light on the camcorder there because I don't want it to influence what's actually coming out of here. All right, this isn't ideal because that's actually the light from the camcorder. And when I put my finger across it, it creates a little bit of a shadow. Hopefully you can just about see the rock there. That's about 18 inches away from the viewfinder. And that's the firefly mode. Okay, that's the next power setting up, and the foot of that tree is approximately 5 to 6 feet away. So about 1.5 to 2 meters away from the camera. And I'll actually leave the light on from the camcorder here, because it isn't affecting that far bank side. That's my light off, and obviously you see the light from the camcorder isn't affecting that. Turn this back on, and that's the next power setting up. Uh, that lights out pretty well, and that's approximately 22 to 25 metres, so uh, roughly 65 to 75 feet. Right, that's it in turbo, and that's a full 750 lumens. Unfortunately, there's a bit of smoke blowing across here from my log cabin, so it's not very clear. <laughs> but that's about 35 metres away, so just over 100 feet. Again, it's not coming out perfectly on the viewfinder, but that is pretty bright. You know, I'm looking at it through my eyes. Obviously, they have got a better light chip in them than, than the camcorder. And I, I can see everything in front of me, way out to 100 feet and beyond. Now, you can expect about 118 minutes from a full battery on the SOS setting, about 178 minutes on the turbo setting. And if we step it all the way down to the firefly mode, this will actually shine on the firefly mode constantly 65 days. So if you were stuck in a big tunnel system, you could easily navigate with the firefly mode and you've got two months to get out of there. I think you'd probably starve to death before you actually got out, before the battery ran out. So that lasts a hell of a long time. <laughs> Certainly longer than you would last if you were lost in a cave system. Now this is just basically a T-shaped piece of aircraft grade aluminium. One end will unscrew, that's that end, and in here you insert a 18650 battery. You'll have heard me mention this loads of times when I've been reviewing flashlights. This is quite a standard battery for a lot of modern flashlights because it's high capacity in a reasonably small battery. And the end is spring-loaded and it's also got a seal in there as well. Now this is rated as IPX8, which means it can be submersed in 1.5 meters of water for up to 30 minutes. That is fully waterproof, but it's not for prolonged use underwater. It's not a diving light by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly when you're wearing it, it doesn't matter how much rain's coming down, this is not gonna leak in at all. That's the switch there, it's nice and flush fitting. usual quality you'd expect from through night 
and the whole unit sits inside a rubbery cage and attached to that piece of flexible rubber is a elastic strap which is adjustable both ways both that way and that way for a solid fit the flashlight can be set to move up and down and if you have it straight and you bounce up and down it will gradually work its way down say you're on a bike and you're off-road or something boom, 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 boom like that it would work its way down under normal circumstances when you're just walking about I mean I go for walks on a night and it's never dropped down on me yet it's always just stayed exactly where I've put it I normally set it at a certain distance in front of me for easy navigation works very well indeed extremely comfortable to wear with it being the nice soft elasticated strap and overall very very good flashlight now there is a smaller version of this called a T ooh, let's get it right TH20 I think which takes a single double A battery if you're thinking of this sort of thing for EDC everyday carry that would be the one I would go for because in the UK a double A battery is in every single home around the land an 18650 battery isn't necessarily in many people's houses certainly folks that are banging their outdoor stuff will have that size of battery because a lot of the modern appliances have them in and bear in mind you need the battery and you also need a charger as well and that's an added cost on top of this although you can get package deals I'll put the link to it in the video description all in all it's just through night quality which I would expect and it's actually a reasonable price as well considering the considering how it's made you know it's not just a standard tube uh, it's a very good flashlight so check it out see you in the next video thanks for watching